How's it going? Hey! I got something here for you. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, fresh meat. No, oh, it's very kind. Try the rest of the instructions were like this. Probably have to teach you how to make them as good as I do. <laughs> no, I've never been much of a baker. Oh, you know, we tried it that one time and I gave you a um, good flowery handprint on your butt. <laughs> okay, yeah. right. There you go. It's hot chocolate. Oh, thanks. <sighs> no thanks. It was quite stressful, almost getting hit by a car on the highway. Yeah. I'm sure nobody here took care of you. Yeah, he's tried. Okay. Then my rad on partner decided he needed to, uh, Eat. you know. Mm -hmm. I think happen? you need to give him a bit of a, you know, talking to. Yeah. Wait a minute, is that Adam? I think it is. Hmm? Outside. I don't know. Yeah, I got some news as well. Um, me and Nova know like this. American Johnny Depp. American Johnny Depp? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got a. Uh, Where's it going? Four hours left before I gotta get back in. Adam, is that you? Uh, it's gonna. Okay, you alright? Yeah, it seems like Adam's here. Yeah, yeah, just picking up um certain papers. You know, I got a new, how can I say, employment. So you know. Yeah. Okay. So you've been up to anything, Mo? All right. No, uh, uh, the new class. I see you got yeah, the bounties on there. So can you mind passing the details right. about them bounties? Yeah. Well, I haven't right. seen you around for that Probably much. Again. Yeah. Must have been busy. Either. Well, I got some big news. Um, not so long ago, I found out Melissa's got a boyfriend. Really? Yep. His name What's is. Name? Oh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Zach. It's Zach. Yep. There you go. Oh, thank you. Zach is a trouble name of a trouble. Oh, this is only four of them this time, the other time um, there's six. Well, yeah. if he tries anything with those, he's gonna get his ass whooped oh. anyway. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, right. Skipping bail for? So, uh, I'm not skipping bail. At least people are skipping bail. Oh, hang on a minute. Are you getting into bounty hunting? No, man, I haven't been in trouble at all, man. How old is he? Oh, he's alright. Well, I've only met him about. Once yeah, and have got to know him a bit. Yeah, no, uh, Such oh, a character, too. Right. Okay, have so Melissa's 21. Yeah, you how, old, how old is he? Stay safe, Luna. I don't know. Okay. I can organise something that we all meet and stuff, so you can talk to him yeah, and I stuff. Son of a I've already had words, don't worry. Talking to Hawkins. Uh, he ain't heard it from me yet. Hmm, I thought to break his legs. That's a different... <laughs> well, well, when I first met him, right, I was really surprised and plus, I can't say angry, slightly disappointed because she hadn't told me and it's been like six months since she didn't even say god damn six word months. to me. Okay. Uh, get, get, get a hold of her, we'll, uh, we'll have to chat. Yeah. I'll have to. But she's currently the... working, so. Mm. Here comes the yeah. overprotective father thing. <laughs> <laughs> and overprotective mother as well. Yeah. Jesus, I thought I were bad. My kids. You two want to go and get a drink or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Let me get a uniform. Well, I got my car, so... so. Yeah. Hawkins, go put yeah. your, car, your squad car in the garage. 
You forgot to put his car in the garage. Was waiting for Nova to get his butt out. Looking snazzy in that cowboy hat, sweetie. Old glory. You're not getting away that easily, mister. <laughs> Alright, I'm a dead ready to some alcohol. <laughs> okay, do what you want. <laughs> Meet you there. Oh, he's good up. <laughs> Uber, come on. Come on, Nova. Slow poke. <laughs> pretty much going for some alcohol, pretty much a drink. So. <laughs> 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 oh, he's gonna love this. He's going to love this. <laughs> Come here, neighbor. Where is he? Where is he? Look, you know, he's gone to the, um, <laughs> to the Yellow Jack, so we're meeting him there. Alright. <laughs> I hope you got a good, um, cowboy accent. <laughs> What do you mean? Of course I have. <laughs> Come on, let's go prank him. <laughs> Luna, please tell me you got your get up. Uh, I actually haven't, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would have done, but you know, I'm not. <laughs> You'd be going to annoy him. Send him a text saying we're on our way. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope Skyler's okay with the Charminder that we I've left her with for today. She will be. Is it the one that I used? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, oh yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> it's just motherly instinct, and then I'm getting overprotective of Melissa with Zach. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll break his legs if you hurt her. I'll give him a good old slapping if he hurts her one bit, even a single hair on her body. Mm-hmm. And Hawkins will probably shoot him. <laughs> yeah, he probably would. <laughs> oh, this is going to be priceless.
you walk in and it seem like you're just a normal cam cowboy and I'll just walk in like my normal self, like nothing's changed. Yeah. See how he reacts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. we gotta get him. <laughs> and put your cowboy accent on. Well, try and do your impression of him. Just yes, do it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Let me lock the car first. You go in right. and confuse him. You mean partner? Did you put him up to that? Nope. You didn't put him up to this. Oh, so he's just making fun of me. <laughs> no, wouldn't dream of it. Really, that outfit looks very familiar. <laughs> so does that hat. Yeah. That shirt. <laughs> Something funny here. Uh... And uh, no. Is it that I'm seeing at least two um cowboys here? There's only one guy we here. It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on us. Oh, I thought you'd like it. Well, I've got a surprise for you, Hawkins, later on, obviously. But I don't know. What, I don't yeah. know what you to get up to in the bedroom. Hey, Nova! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, I was wondering if I could try and, you know, um, it was just, oh, you know, forget it. I was trying to do a bit of a joke with Nova, right? They just look like you, sweetie, just for the fun of it. <laughs> I was thinking of doing it myself, but I couldn't find the right clothes, funny enough. <laughs> you know. You're not surprised, are you? I don't think he's impressed, to be honest. That hurt is a rite of passage. <laughs> okay. This really isn't your spare one, is it, Luna? It really isn't. Did you pitch your spare one, Hawkins? Uh -huh. Hope you don't drink too much, so I have to carry you home, eh? No, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> work out of this. I can only drink so much. Yeah, I know. I'll drink some more when I'm there. You know, we wait to start a bit of a prank war. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah. I thought you'd end up cringing at if we both came in in the same type of outfit. You know? Oh, I'm definitely cringing. Might have, you know, had a bit of fun. Um, uh, you know what Nova is like, is a lot like me in some ways, mm -hmm. like, with pranking people and stuff. <laughs> you pranked me a lot when we were at at the Feist houses, when I fell asleep. 
supposed to get up with that, eh? <laughs> John? Oh, was it? That was so adorable that you couldn't help yourself, eh? Sure. <laughs> and I tried getting you one time and it failed miserably. You're very predictable. Both of you are. How are we predictable? No, if I told you, that would ruin the edge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know I like playing and messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> he really doesn't sound happy. Is something on your mind? It's been a long day. Oh. Mm -hmm. no, it's been a long day. It's been a quiet day. What are you talking about? I've been shift with you all day. No, I had first class arrive. Shifted out for the... They're on, what, day one of the first thing? Oh, right. I guess worse than okay. that. I bet you miss me, right? My sweetest company, eh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, I was a little bit concerned. Me and Hawkins had a little bit of chat earlier. Was... Yeah. Would if everything was alright with you between you two? Yeah, everything's fine. Even though I do, you know, hate it when you disappear off like that, to, and without saying a word. Uh-huh. Okay. This kind of hurt a little bit. Now we'll get something on my car. I think something is on his mind, though. He hasn't seen me around yeah. for much. Yeah. To be fair, neither have I. <laughs> I've I, been I'm looking after gonna... Skylar and stuff, and yeah, I've had things to do. Yeah. I think I know what Hawkins needs. What's that? A romantic night or something somewhere. Yeah. In a nice spot. Tell you the truth, you need to soften him up again. Hmm? You need to soften him up again. <laughs> and plus learning that his daughter's got a good boyfriend as well, oh, so... Yeah. Keep an eye on his 12 gauge. I know what spot to take him to. Well, this felt yeah. that he took me. The one in Plato. Uh, did you hear that? No. What did you hear? I heard some weird noises. Uh, stay here. Okay. I'll be right back. Here you go, um. Alright. It's all me, don't worry. Not, nothing new to me. Mm-hmm. That's a weird sound. Like what? Crashing in glass and stuff like that. I don't know. Definitely missed you, Marshmallow. No, I missed you too. <laughs> 
Well, it's definitely been a quiet, you know, a few weeks at the house without you around. Uh. Definitely miss slapping that ass. Okay, sweetie. I'm alright. Are you sure? Sure. I'm positive. Um, from what I think that you need, you need some time off of work. Nice night yeah, out well. in a nice spot. Why is that? Oh, I just want to treat you. That's all. Well, I think I'm doing alright. Another 180 days of this crap that I get to shift out. Are you sure you don't want to spend some time with your missus? No, I don't have a choice. I took the job as something I can't just leave. Counting on me. I guess. With shot. What are you guys looking for the rest of the day? I don't want to hold you up anymore. You're no, not ten, holding us up. What makes you think you're holding us up? Oh, that's why I asked. Not holding us up. Hawkins, your family, you're not holding us up at all. Are you sure nothing's on your mind? You seem a little bit off. Or is that just me? What do you mean by that? Do I need to soften you up again? You don't need to do a thing. Are you working too much? No, there's saying it's too much work. There Signed is. That actually is. Do. Oh, I'll assure you I'm alright. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Did you never leave my side after that accident I had not so long ago? Are you doubting me? Hmm? Are you doubting me? No. I'm not. Yeah, I need to take a piss. Mm hmm Something's Something off. Is off. He seems in a real big hurry to get away. I am not happy. I don't know what's going on. Could be learning that. He hasn't spent much time with me since got back in the army, in the navy and stuff, hasn't got any more time for me. I'll, I'll be outside getting some fresh air, so. so. Okay. Oh, why is he doing this to me?
Okay, hang on. Throw this down. So it can go off. Something seems so off. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Me either. Well, I'm going to find out. To me, it's a size. Mm. Feel it. I've had to come out here because I feel like snapping at him right now. Stay here. Wait a minute, stay here. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay. Get her off. Hide. And. Let him go. Why? What? What's going on? Well, I've just tried to talk to him and he's almost squared up to me. So Said anything? He just says, well, I've been working. I says, well, so have I. And then he says, well, we're not in the same kind of work. I says, well, I used to be in the military, if you remember. And then he says, well, different kind. I says, well, why don't you explain it to me then? He says, not even worth it. Then he stormed off. Something's not right. It's breaking my heart, you know. I know. And it's pissing me off. Fox? Yeah, it's Fox. I'm going to go cool off. What's going on? It feels like Hawk is pushing me away. How so? I haven't seen him around that much lately. and I know he's part of the Navy and he has to go out and stuff, but... It's a lot more than it used to be, and <sighs> you won't even talk to me either. You know, well, I can tell you the truth, the base has been busy. I'm really busy. It's not just that, it's just that it's trying to get away from me too. As it well... This might be. Has he given you an update on what the situation was? As you said, he had um, a form of cancer, didn't he? Yeah, he hasn't told me anything since that. He could be depressed. He's, he's in there. And he could be depressed. I, I don't know. But he lost his friend Matthew a few months ago, didn't he? <laughs> I, 
I just don't know what to do. I got Skylar and Melissa and Nova on my back, but oh, John, I don't know. My husband, for crying out loud, he should be spending more time with me than just pushing me away. Well, I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm breaking uh, my heart. Uh, okay, relax here, okay. Watch hey. my car for me, still got my keys. Oh well. A little bit more so you're not hanging in the street. Can you hear me? <laughs> Boy, hey, calm down. What's going on? What's wrong? I, it's just... You haven't been telling me much lately. Oh, look, I, I had a conversation with Box, and Doc just came in. You know, it's just been, we've been real busy, okay? That, that's all I can really say about it. I'm not, it's not that I'm not telling you nothing. We're just, we, I've just been really busy. I have no idea where you've been. And every time I've been home, you ain't there. It's pretty much vice versa. Part of it is my fault, too. Well, where have you been? What's her bloody go at me, too? Nova seemed pissed when he came outside to me. Who had a go at you? <sighs> Box. Saying I have to. I. I must come and talk to you and stuff. This was partially my fault as well for being an idiot and not being there. Well, I, I, look, I still have no idea where the hell you've been, but, but I've been here the entire time. I got new. I'm a, we got the new contract coming in, so you know I got I've got to be all hands on deck. I told you, you know, when the when you married me, this is kind of the the shit that you have to deal with. Yeah. And I didn't, I knew I got, you know, maybe you didn't think it would be this bad, but that, that's, uh, you know, it ain't gonna change. Uh, no. It was like, like, I haven't really been paying much attention either. Well, you started with telling me where you've been. You would. I've been spending some time with Melissa and stuff and found out she's been dating and I've been more interested in what's going on with that. Uh, so you where, where, I mean, I thought she lived with us. Where you, does she not live with us anymore? She does. Hasn't been around very much, though. And I mean, this just doesn't really make sense to me. You've been made her for coffee or something like that? Still don't explain why you ain't been home. Look, just be straight with me. What did I say? Did I say that she's been in the UK? My character. To see your parents. been trying to relax and, you know, and it's, mm. it's been really stressful with looking after Skylar too on my own. Well, you know, I'd offer to help, but I don't know where you've been. Because there's been quite a few times that I've been home and I've been able to help, but you, you and her are just gone.
or right, look at six. I you know I gotta go, but you can get your story straight. Give me a call. See, it's my fault. And get your story straight where you've been and stuff like that. So pretty much, in a way, and blaming it on her. What's been going on? Something's not. Is it? Is there? I don't know what's going on at this point. <sighs> Tane, where have you been? Every single time I've been home, you haven't been there. I haven't been role playing. Is he putting that into account? I don't know what to say there. Should I say that she's been spending time with. <sighs> asking where have you been? There's a bit of uh, tension between our characters now. Should I just say, I've seen Drake lately, and that's probably going to cause a bit more tension. I spotted it wrong. Who's this? Hey. Alright, you can group up now. Come on, I don't bite. Yeah, 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 uh, I didn't yeah, know yeah. what the hell is going on. You texted me saying that you're crying. I'm in the middle of an evolution. You know, not something I can exactly deal with at that moment. Yeah, I know. You know he's not radioactive anymore. You can go closer to him. Well, here's my point. Yeah, we uh, had a short conversation with Fox here. Uh... This is a very uh, busy job, even when I'm not here whooping the ass of some new recruits. I'm elsewhere in the world shooting bad guys. Yeah. And I thought we mutually agreed that that was all right for you, but, but I just need to understand where your headspace is at, because now you're talking to Drake, that piss ant, and I don't know, you know what the hell is going on anymore. 
you been able to... <sighs> no, I just need you. You weren't able to give me an answer there at the gate. I asked you where you were, and you kind of blanked on me. So I just need you know, I want you to give me straight what's been going on. Well, I went out right one day on my speedboat and stuff just to get out sea and stuff and enjoy the sea air and have some diving and stuff and it ended up breaking down I was stuck out at sea for a while and I wasn't in the right mindset it was getting cold and everything first person I thought was to message to help was Drake I don't know what what came over but I knew you were at work and everything, and I didn't want to make you worry, and you weren't around either, and... So, you're in danger, and the first person you thought to call was that slime ball. I know it's a knobhead as well, but, That's you know, scary. depending on the number on the list, you know, the first ones you've seen. Because, you know. I mean, I get that, but I figured I'd earn that spot when I put the ring on. I'm very disconcerting. Well, that situation, I didn't see him for a short period of time after when I was at the hospital. After that, not much. Last time was when with Lester and Zach, her boyfriend and stuff. And he was really rude. He burst into the house and I ended up bloody yelling at him for it. I think he did I make the wrong decision for getting him involved again. And I didn't want to make you worry and stuff. What was going on with the kids? You've been busy lately. I probably made things worse for myself and you. Well, I hope you can now see that when you withhold that kind of stuff from me, it makes the situation worse. Because I can assure you that we could have sorted it out there and then we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Yes. And it is right. I have to that point with that situation rescued me pretty much was obviously Port Authority and I came across Tegan again. She recognised me immediately, still considers me as family. But she still treated me nevertheless. I don't know what's going on with that either. That's why I try not to bring that up because no. I know that. It's professionalism. Yes, I yeah, know. You don't exactly got a choice. And this has been really stressful finding out Melissa's been dating for six months without telling me. Uh, it's me disappointed in her, but I can't, you know, be angry at her for it. I mean, look, I get that I've been busy. You know, I, for that deployment, I couldn't give you a heads up. I mean, I, I literally had to go straight from work over here until you had to, you had to drive me straight from work to uh, the basis. I couldn't stop and go. So, you know, and uh, I, I get home. You know, I ain't been here for too long, but I get home and, you know, you're nowhere to be found. I don't know who my daughter is. And uh, you said you tried to reach me, but no evidence of such. And it just, it's, it's very, it bothers me. Because now you're, you know, I, you know, I thought we ended this whole thing with Drake because he's nothing but a, no, I'll keep my words to myself, but, you know, he causes nothing but trouble. But here we are you know, three months down the line and he's back in our lives somehow. He wormed his way straight on my asshole again. As I say, 
says it's kind of backfires. I want nothing to do with him. That's one thing I can in, interlude. Um, I've met Drake a couple of times. He is up his own ass. I can give you that. You're not wrong now. I've seen him try and show off. I've seen what, seen like, you know, pull guns and such. You know, it's, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the very sharpest tool in the shed, or you know, the, the best bottle of wine in the cellar. That's short of it, but yeah. He's uh, an interesting character, and I just thought we avoided him. Look, I get that he, he saved you or whatever. And I'm great grateful for that, uh, even though I would assume emergency services would be the first people you call, but that's besides the point. Um, that doesn't change his character. I, I did call this, though. So how did he get out there? Because you said, you said you called him, right? I messaged him while I was out there and stuff. Without seeing the server or any kind of services, they got me out of there, but... I saw him in the hospital after, with Nova and stuff. It makes me wonder, has he been spending time with you, brother? Nope. That time when I saw him was the first time I saw him in months. Wait, so he somehow managed to worm himself in again? That's what I'm saying. Slimy little piss in. Look, he ain't done. He ain't wronged me in any way, really. You know, I just think he's an he's an a hole. You know, uh, hey, word, excuse my Spanish. I Asshole, if you think about it. Well, he did barge into your household, you know, so. Yeah, when did this happen? When um, you were talking, I was getting to know Zach a little bit more and stuff. And he just and made Drake Melissa happen. He just showed up and barged in. Literally, he just walked into the house. I heard yeah. this one. Okay. Next, no. time he, next time he does that, he's getting a 45 to the head. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm sorry. I haven't said any of this Hard. to you until now, but... Go ahead. We're not social distance, go ahead. Fucks. <laughs> Come here. Get out. Come on. You're married, for God's sake. Alright, now I've got this sorted. Now i got some ground rules we need to work out now. Oh? Find the ground rules. Alright, for starters, uh, you know, I'm going to be working for a while. Thank God we live in this state because I can just go home right after a long day's work. Sometimes I am going to have to stay here and I'll let you know when I am. But, uh, you know, things happen. Sometimes shit kicks off and somewhere else in the world and that's not exactly something I can prevent. If I could, I would. And if uh, it didn't have to happen, I wouldn't have I a know. job. I, I know, but, I know. You already told me all this when we first got engaged yeah, I get and that. stuff. And but, yeah. I've just been the second thing. I've just been worried and stuff. The second thing is y'all don't have to be worried about me. I'm a grown man, I can handle myself. Shut up! So, Shut up! Boy. He's got big boy pants on, he's got a belt yeah, as well. I got, I got my big Ox. boy pants on and my big boy gun and I can go handle myself if such needs to rise. I'm the big and, boy uh, guy boy, huh? Not in all this is, uh, Yeah, well, I can I can uh, assure you that uh, when I'm over there in that compound, the only person that can bully me is the OIC, but, but you know, who cares about that? I just need you guys' confidence that I can do that because, you know, if I have you guys worrying about me, that makes me worry. And then when I'm worrying, I can't focus on the, the cadre and the cadets over there, which means that I slip, and that becomes a problem for me. I shouldn't even be here right now, but I'm taking that chance because, you know, I got a buddy over there that's helping me out, and I greatly appreciate it. But you guys need to just pump the brakes a little bit. Let me be me. You know, I 
come home, give you a kiss on the cheek, go to bed, take a nap, whatever the hell, wake up in the morning. That's not important. Um, but uh, you know, I'm I'm always here. I ain't going anywhere. That's just that's just kind of the law of the land. I don't get to choose it. You do know you do know me and Hawkins are on the same base, right, Luna? Yeah, you can always get her to check up on me. That's gonna be a regular thing, by the way. Oh boy, see if you can find me. Just remember, I am busy on my own things as well. Yeah, everybody's got their own thing to do with. Not my fault. Um, uh, I've been like this lately. I have been stressed out. Also finding, you know, the other thing that Melissa's got a boyfriend and I only just found uh, out. Yeah, why the hell was I not told about this? Six months! From what you I just found out herself. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll deal with that part later. Have a nice, uh, friendly conversation with him. <laughs> no, he's already done that one. I told him to deal with him whilst I talked to Melissa. <laughs> now threaten to break his legs. Uh... Oh, and the uh, funny thing is... I actually know the kid, but I didn't even know they were together. Uh, I've, ri I've been on ride along with him. I'm sorry, Nova, but your trousers, are they too short for you or did they shrink in the wash? Yeah. <laughs> three quarter length. There's a reason for it. Well, and I actually yeah, I remember in the past before, when I, before I adopted her, she was asking me about men advice. But I didn't even catch on back then. Well, I'll shake this kid up and uh, give him a run for his money. But, you know, I just need you guys to lay off for a bit. And I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be home. And, you know, my bus class only lasts so long. But, uh... Sorry. Sorry. Oh, shot, shot. <laughs> Genuinely mean that. It's, it's just a natural reaction. I've been doing my own thing, trying to keep myself occupied, but then I haven't been really paying, well, too much attention to what you've been doing, not really being at home. I ought to do other things like, instead of keeping my feelings to myself, to actually tell you what's been going on. I've been a well, melon mother. lately. I mean, my, my ears are always open, you know, they give me a call, even if I am at work, I might not get back to you immediately, but hey, I got, you know, I've got some breaks every once in a while, it's, you know, it, I just, uh, wait, and the last thing I really want to talk about is, you know, you, you guys are asking me if something's wrong, and I do greatly appreciate your concern, but I would just like you to believe me every once in a while, you know, if I say that, hey, there really isn't nothing wrong, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, let me handle that part, if I, you know, just believe me. Because I ain't, ain't going to lie to your face. I tell over this one so many times when he's in a bad in a bad way. You say it to everyone. Yeah, I say it to everyone, but... We, well, I think we know it by now. <laughs> Life is like, like a roller coaster. You never know what's going to happen. Yada, yada, yada. You know, I've heard that so many times. Like, yes. Google Translate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Top search on Google. Hey! Happen. After that accident, when we got hit by that semi R truck in the ambulance, I told you that, and I bet you've never forgotten those words, exact words. Yeah, uh, sell them. Let's keep them close to here. Yeah, well, we got everything sorted. I'm fine. Go get Nova some new goddamn pants. Holy shit. Uh, Three quite like shorts. It's, that is, oh man. I can't put other shorts on for reasons that you, even you know about Hawkins, because you treated me. You know, you could just put trousers on. Yeah, yeah, just put some pants on. Don't need to be that skinny either. Um, I'm always here for you, even though I could be a melon at times. Oh, you got two nice melons behind there. Oh, God. Fox! Wait, what'd she say? Don't you worry. You, you, you don't, no, no, no. Um, 
She still beat him ever flirt with me, man. I'm sorry, do you have a license for that dump truck or? <laughs> <laughs> you still got a crush on me, haven't you, Fox? Why are you playing hey, we, on it? Listen, listen, if we need some help moving the sand over there, I know who to call. Alright, that's all, folks. Uh, that's all I got. Yeah, get going. It's 9 30. got stuff to sort out on it when you have yeah, to. Yeah, this is all sorted <laughs> out. That's great. <laughs> I apologize for that uh, incident at the Yellow Jack Hawkins. Yeah, you and I are going to have a private conversation in a minute. Mm-hmm. Not getting away. <laughs> well, i got to go here, so... Why don't you go home and take care of the daughter, and I'll be home, uh... Yeah. Uh, like, three in the morning. And then, uh, we'll be good. Two. I'm also looking at you, Nova. Listen, if um, you go out for a drink and have a proper man guy to go to. As I keep on saying, but you never get around to it. And you've got time, that is. Luna, just finish it up because he needs to go. No, no. He's got he duties. See y'all later. Be safe. I will. I ain't gonna get hurt over there. I ain't gotta do any of the heavy work. He's in a secure facility, it's fine. There's no. <laughs> so no one's trying to shoot him. Nova, come over here, Ram Mm-hmm. Folks, come here. What? Probably make three. Not really, no. Honestly. A little bit. Well, aren't I? I said you're taking things out of context. That's what. Oh, damn. Hey, don't squeeze. Oh, sorry. I, I know that we sort of had that conversation when we pretty much first got engaged, but. <sighs> hmm? Uh, pretty, pretty much. I was in for, the, in for it, and get used to this sort of thing, but I I know, but how can I not worry about him? Well, as I said, he's on a safe, secure base, so I can, I'll see him most of the time because we'll have to pass him across a lot. <laughs> Make sure he's having his vegetables. <laughs> oh, he is, don't worry. Okay, good. He's doing his broccoli stew. Broccoli stew. I'll make sure to give you a lot of cookies and supplies for him, and you can also have, keep some for yourself and your sister well, when I'm she's in. I'm on base for, well, two more weeks, because to get these, these ribs to actually, you know. I thought says that, then I can go back You know on. what? I have got a box of cookies in my truck that I ought to give him to, so he can, it reminds him of me when he's at well, base. Well, go on, do it then, because oh, I want to get it back, because I'm tired, and, you know, the house, and, you know... I want food. So. Hopefully Raven's gonna look after you. I've heard she's been yelling at you lately. Oh, she doesn't have been shot. Oh. Well, don't tell her. <sighs> Why? Just don't Have a protective her. sister? Yeah, she starts screaming. <sighs> Fine, I won't say. Yeah, well. Just relax. Almost yeah, got too. hit by a car today. That's just a natural reaction for her, isn't it? <laughs> Probably gonna tell him to look after her.
no more cookies. Oh? Oh uh, no, no shouldn't you eat them cookies? Yeah, give Wait. me another one. Why? You could. Oh, you, fine. You already, gave, you already gave me a bunch of them. I, didn't, I, didn't even, I ain't get this to Daddy. Share with your colleagues, okay? Yeah, yeah I know, I will. I will. This is love you. Really, he really likes cookies. I'll make sure he won't eat them all. Love you. <laughs> I love you more. Later, Hawkins. Yeah, you know what? You can have these ones. <laughs> is it just a natural, natural reaction? Reaction for me, this is this to happen. I know, but he's good, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah.